What's up, everybody? This is James, and I am attempting to do something that I thought was crazy um, when I first saw this on YouTube, but I figure since it's got so many people that have done it, we'll give it a shot. I got nothing to lose, so uh, to fill you in, I have got a 47-inch LG TV that was given to me. Um, I have gone through some testing uh, measures the screen does come on, but it gets stuck on the LG logo at the beginning. And so I can't get past that. There's no control. I've tried to do a reset with the buttons. Um, the remote is not uh, very usable right now. And so I've done some, some uh, reset options with the, the hard buttons on the TV, but still unfortunately not getting any success there. So. Um, I saw a few videos on YouTube. Uh, the first one I watched, I was like, this guy's joking. Like, this is a, a, a hoax kind of thing. But um, he baked his board in the oven for 10 minutes on 385. And I was like, oh, this is a joke. At the end of it, it'll be, ah, thanks for watching. You just wasted 12 minutes of your life. But apparently there's some truth to this thing and uh, found several other videos where people have done this and so we're going to give it a shot and just see uh, figure one guy got I think about four or five months additional use out of the TV um, by baking the motherboard uh, I think the purpose of it is it helps to reflow the solder somehow um, and that ultimately helps it to work I'm not saying this is the best method of fixing a TV, um, so don't hate on me for that. Uh, I'm simply trying to see if these videos of people baking their motherboard actually fix the TV. Um, so I will disclose that my intention here is to bake this board, um, hopefully get a few months out of it, but in the meantime, order a replacement board to properly repair the TV. Um, so I'll probably be on the lookout for a new motherboard, um, but it's a, it's a 47 inch LG. Uh, it's a 3d smart TV and uh, it was given to me uh, as a project. If I wanted to fix it, great. If not, you know, do what I want to with it. So uh, I have nothing in this thing other than a little bit of time that I'm going to spend uh, disassembling it to pull the board out. Looks to be a pretty simple access, um, you know, just pull the back off of the panel um, and then there's, I think, about six screws and a few ribbons and, and connectors to unplug. And then from there, um, we put it in the oven. I know it sounds absolutely crazy, but uh, we're going to give it a shot. And like I said, uh, don't, ho no, don't hate on me for baking my TV motherboard um, because I intend to fix this um, by also purchasing uh, a replacement board. Uh, but I do want to see if this works before I do that. So stay tuned and we'll find out if it, uh, if it does.
Okay, so we've got all of these connectors disconnected. We've removed the screws and we are ready to put this in the oven. Okay, so we just got the board back in to the TV, and so we are now going to give it a test and see how it works. Okay, so you can see this is the 47 inch LG TV, and we're gonna hit this power button, and this will be the moment of truth. Power's up. And we have a working TV. I cannot believe it. There's no input hooked up. I'm just testing it right now, but it is past the LG logo screen. And I simply baked the board in the oven on 385 for 12 minutes. And it now works. Okay guys, so this is the 47 inch LG TV, 3D smart TV. And um, just to summarize what I've done is I took the back panel off of it. it. Took me about 10 minutes to pull that off. There were four screws and several connectors holding the board onto the back of the TV. Took those off. Um, I laid a piece of aluminum foil on the lowest rack of the oven put the oven at 385, let it preheat, got to temperature, put the board, uh, laid it in exactly how it is in the, the TV, so bottom down, laid it in the oven, set the timer for 12 minutes, let it cool by opening, once it went off, turned the oven off, opened the door up, let it cool for probably 45 minutes, and then simply reinstalled into the TV. And we'll give it one more test just to make sure. But this thing powers up. It's no longer stuck on the logo screen. And then it goes into the inputs. This thing is now working. Can't believe it. Who would have ever thought that baking a board would fix it? So I will try to find the best deal on a replacement board um, priced anywhere from 70 to 105 dollars and uh, 
find the cheapest one and put that into this uh, the next time this thing fails. And hopefully it'll have a 47 inch LG 3D smart TV for whatever I can get the board for. So hundred bucks. So it's pretty cool. Thanks for watching.